I ain't going to be long-winded because I don't want to be up here all day. I just want to make sure everybody's super clear on why I'm doing this. During one of our shows, I was talking about how me and Mace in the 90s, which I was talking about, the actual year I was talking about was 1992. We was in a whole house. And we was laughing, having fun. And we were saying, we, you know, we, whatever, we was in the whole house. Mace, you know, Mace don't always give me permission to talk about our old stories because, you know, he's a man of God and he got other shit going on, but he remembers his past sometimes, so sometimes he's let me talk. Anyway, I'm talking about this time we in the whole house and all that shit. Talking about um, we slid a bitch, all this shit. Cool, whatever. I see a clip where on, on Joe Button's podcast where Melissa Ford is talking about, oh, it might have been underage girls in there. First of all, I only like older bitches. Second of all, it was 1992. We was underage. That's A and B. I, we wasn't supposed to be in there. We wasn't 18. I just turned motherfucking 16. I ain't even defending myself on that nonsense. You're not even from this country. I don't know what the fuck was going on in the, in the whole houses in Canada or wherever you from or whatever pedophile shit they on, wherever you from. We not on that. I ain't even going into that. More of the story, she said it. Knowing the times we in, Joe Buttons and them went in on her or whatever. They're like, yo, that's some serious allegation, this, that, and the third. But they didn't edit it out. So from two things I take from that, they either threw her under the bus or they said, fuck it, let's get the ratings or whatever they want to do. Either way it came out, it could have been edited out. It wasn't live like I'm doing live right now. So I ignored it because it's nonsense. So I ignored the shit. We said a little something on our show, but we don't get that. We don't give. See, they we don't give this type of energy I'm doing on live. That type of business on our show, my nigga. Our shit is sports and our fun. So this energy don't go on our show. This cam energy on my own personal time. So we said a little something. I ain't even say nothing. I said, fuck the bitch. The bitch don't know what she's talking about, whatever. So. Yesterday, whatever day she issues an apology, I'm like, nah, don't apologize. Because I was going to address it when I felt like addressing it. But the reason I addressed it yesterday is because it's like, yo, you say that foul shit? Because that's some foul shit to say. Man, felt like that shit, like, and the times we in for you to make them type of allegations, don't know what the fuck you talking about? You serious? Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Stop playing with niggas, man. Anyway, she tried to apologize, and I said to myself, nah, because if I address it in a month or whenever I felt like addressing it, people are going to be like, oh, Kim, she apologized, leave it alone. You can't just say shit like that, and, and three days later, two days later, be like, oh, my bad, I wasn't thinking. You damn right you wasn't thinking. You, you wasn't thinking. Y'all shouldn't have said that. I'm, you know, that's some serious allegations. Why well, say that in the beginning? You're not even from here. You're not even from this country. I could have went straight to Ice T, fucked you in the bathroom for $2,000. When you was fucking doing waitressing. I didn't even go there. You used to fuck in the bathroom. The Kit Kat Club. One of them old ass club bitch. Stop. You a video vixen. Anyway. So I dressed it yesterday. I'm like, nah, don't say sorry because some, that's some serious shit. And I didn't even get at you the way I should have got at you. I left it alone. I'm like, this bitch is bugging. Try to say sorry. So I addressed it yesterday. So I wake up today to go on live. I'm banned for two days on live for uh, who knows. I say, let me see why. It's the picture where uh, it's been flagged and I'm banned from live. 
whatever. I don't give a fuck. That shit don't bother me. All them little technology games y'all playing, nigga. I'm from the payphone era, nigga. I had a beeper. I had a beeper, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Shit don't bother me. So, the reason I'm doing this live is just to break that down for people who didn't even understand what was going on. I was going to leave it alone, but then she says sorry, which the sorry wasn't even genuine. That shit was fake. I don't know even convinced her to do this shit, but whoever did, I was smart. Because, was yo, now if I sue niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker, right? Now if I sue y'all niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker. Well, I might be a sucker. I just might be. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. Pause. I'm thinking about being a sucker. For defamation of character. Next thing I see when I wake up, my man shows me. Because like I said, y'all niggas, I, I don't pay y'all niggas on my, I don't know when y'all come on. I don't want to, I don't, I don't know. And, and listen, it's no slight to y'all, no disrespect to y'all, but what y'all do is use this live right now for content. For content. Y'all, we do sports. How the fuck you know what's going on on our show to talk about on y'all show? We do sports, bro. But this will be more content for the show. Watch. This will be the whole topic of their next show. This is what they do, so this is what the last time I'm doing it. They don't care about getting ass whippings over there. They don't care about dissing niggas. They don't care about no consequences. It's all content for the show. They don't give a fuck. And this will be their content for this show, which is fine. So now, I wake up, and my man shows me uh, Queen's Flip talking about nobody going to help Melissa Ford, none of you podcasters. Help over do what? Disrespect niggas some more? Niggas act like I'm coming for them. Every action has a reaction. You can't do what you do and just then, then when somebody reacts to what you do, you be like, oh, why they reacting like that? Queen Flip. Nobody going to help ML Ford. Nobody going to help ML Ford. Now this nigga here, Queen's Flip, I took this little nigga under my wing. Under my wing. Not like that everyday shit. I took a liking to the nigga pause, and I was giving this nigga mad advice. He was podcasting. I'm not, I don't, I wasn't into that shit. I'm telling him what to do, how to get sponsors. Yo, oh, you got this many views, you should go do this. Oh, you got this many dudes, you should go do that. Oh, you should go do this. It's teaching them game that I'm in, the, in a game that I'm not even in. He want to do skits. Popping up to my events. I got sneaker release. You know, I got sneakers. He pop up to the sneaker release. Playing games. Can I do a skit? Can I do a skit? Yeah, come on, let's do a skit. I'll do a skit with the nigga. Come on, let's do a skit. Yo, can I do another skit? Yeah, do, come on, do a skit. Yo, can I wear your... Your army jacket and the stuff from the Get 'em Girls video and the skit. Sure, skit. Oh, yo, can I pull up with the I really mean it jacket and the skit and the skit and, and drive the truck like you came out and I really mean it video? Yeah. Sure, sure, skit. Not a problem. Now, man, all this shit just because I thought I liked the nigga. I thought he's kind of funny, so I'm trying to help the nigga out. Now, he was working with Joe Buttons, which is cool. I, and shout out to Joe Buttons for hiring all these washed up niggas. All these old motherfuckers who ain't got nothing else to do. Shout out to you, my nigga. Because these niggas is washed, nigga. You, you open a dry cleaning business, nigga. You, you killing them with that. I asked Queens Flip for a favor. Because I was still mad about, you know, niggas thinking they was dissing my sports show when I first did it. So I asked him for a favor. He didn't do the favor. Now, my favor may have been a little extreme, given. 
But that's the thing about favors. You don't never know what the favor is when you want your favor back. Don't ask for favors without making a clear-cut deal of what the favor is, because when I ask for a favor, you don't know what my favor is. He didn't do it. I blocked the nigga. I blocked him for my gram, blocked him for calling my phone, blocked the nigga, all that. Only reason I didn't really go hard on Flip, because I like the nigga genuinely. I like, and not only that, I like his son. Shout out to Queen Flip Jr. Yo, that's my man. I don't know if you're going to be upset about the video, but it is what it is. This your pops. I, I fuck with Queen Flip Jr. And I got mad respect for your mother and all the work she's doing in Queens. Mad respect for your family, bro. And when I respect niggas' family, I leave niggas alone. Like, yo, now nah, I fuck with they family. It's a bunch of niggas that I, I like. Look, I got a slogan, man. If I ain't touch you, if me and you got a problem, I love somebody who love you, bro. That's all it's about. Few niggas ain't just queen fly. If I if I love somebody that love you, and we got a problem, I ain't got no problem with you. He told me, "Oh yo, today, oh yo, nobody got Melissa Ford back on this. You gonna let her stay on this? Yo, bro, have her back in what? First of all, let me tell y'all for people who didn't see it." I'm just going to tell y'all, so let's break this down A to Z real A to, A to Z, real, real fast. You choose us to fucking with young people, which you have no motherfucking proof or anything like that, which we don't even fuck with anybody else. Secondly, we was underage. Thirdly, you apologize about some shit because you know you was dead wrong. One, two, three, four. Huh? Fourth, me, I say, fuck you and your apology. Stand on what you said, and I'll get to you when I get to you. I didn't even go crazy. Nick's like, oh, Kim is well. And Kim, oh, how you going to let us stay on the Lonely Hill? A Lonely Hill? All I said is, fuck your apology, and I get to you when I get to you, and I said nothing violent for you accuse us of some more shit that's inaccurate. Now it's a Lonely Hill. I'm on the Lonely Hill, nigga. How you co-signing her saying some shit like that? Now she on the Lonely Hill, nigga? You co-signing bullshit. That's what you doing. You co-signing bullshit. I'm on the Lonely Hill, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I can't tell y'all how much murder don't give a fuck. Y'all be thinking, see, y'all don't see makes like, murder don't give a fuck, bro. Y'all get, listen, y'all get in and let that nigga fool you. That nigga don't give a fuck, B. I be like, yo, chill. Nah, killer. Nah, it's, it's too much chill. It's too, like, murder's on some. No, murder may be from the 80s. Not fucking, may, murder might be mid-80s, nigga. He been outside since he's about seven. Don't let what he got going on the show fool you. Murder is about a, see, murder been outside literally, and I'm not gassing it, because I used to see him. I, this, I used to walk to McDonald's with my mother when I was seven. Because I couldn't go outside by myself. Murder was on the corner by itself. I'm not no cat. No kizzy whatsoever. Murder might be like an 85 some bullshit. False accusations. That bitch is on the lonely hill and you dead fucking wrong. And I got more shit that I could bring out. I, I, it's called a slow drip pause. If you fuck with me, I'll slow drip you. Kind of college you will put all type. I'll slow drip you, man. Pause. What I'll end is saying this. Back to Treasure Wilson and, and my show and our show. It is what it is. I want to thank all you guys for making us be number two. I, I'm going to give y'all early, some early shit that's going to come out on Monday. They just, Complex Sports just did the top 25. Oh, fuck with y'all niggas, man. We don't fuck with y'all. Back to